fucking Logitech. Fucking up. It's gonna pop up like, no, audio's detected. No shit, I haven't said anything yet. <sighs> Hello, everybody. It's Black Ass J here. Good morning, good evening, good night. Whatever is going on in your life, good, whatever. Um, I just got finished making a rant video that you're probably gonna see with the link to on the side of my head. Um, it was interesting. It's long as hell, though. It's like 15 minutes, if not less. 13, 14, somewhere around there. Um, yeah. So, go ahead. Like that if you want. I mean, watch that if you want. Nope. But anyway, I decided to make a video that's not a rant. I wanted to do two today. Two, two. Two, 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 four. Yeah. Um... Got a text message. We're not going to check that right now. It's Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? I love you, babe. Ah. But yeah. Um, what I want to talk about right now are video games. Yay, video games. Um, hey, have you guys played Fortress Craft yet? It's on Xbox. If you haven't played it yet, you should totally play it. It's so fun. Oh, my God. It's like Minecraft, but not sucky. Um... I play Minecraft, and I play Fortress Craft. Honestly, I don't like Minecraft. If there's something about the game I just don't like. And, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I think it's because, really, like, it's so complex. There's, like, all this extra bullshit you gotta go through. Dude, in Fortress Craft, you just buy the game, start it, and bam, you can build shit. And it's so, it, I, Fortress Craft is so simple. Like, of course, with the help of my friend, Lee Sama XD, whose link is gonna appear on top of my head. Yeah. Um... It's, it's actually a very fun game. His link is still on my head. Get off of my head! Thank you. Um, it's just a really fun, simple block building game. And and um, the guy who invented it, DJ Arcus, he has a really cool accent. And also, it's funny, dude, he was talking about rage. He was like, buggers this, I'm done with it. I, I'm done. It's, I was trying to play the game and buggers this. Bu buggers this. I'm not making fun of you, Arcus. I love you. Um... He's actually a really cool guy, and unlike most other games, the guy will actually respond to you. I've had conversations with him on Twitter before, which actually really is really cool, because it really makes me feel like, hey, you know, this game, of course I'm going to play this game, I'm going to buy it, dude. I talked to the guy, you know, it's really cool. He's a really cool guy. Um, and I was once in a little video, you know, I wasn't the guy doing the interview, but it was just like one of those... We're doing a video chat with DJ Arcus. Come in. And I came in and, you know, I asked him some questions. It was pretty cool. Um, by the way, DJ Arcus, this is the naked black guy from Twitter. This is Inferno Soul, Digital Biscuits friend. This is me. Hello. How are you? I hope you're doing good. Um, and I am still going to buy all of your Xbox Live indie games because Fortress Craft is just that amazing. It's a really fun game. Um, I like it. And, um, I don't know if Minecraft has relics, but it's really cool how Fortress Craft has relics. Um, they're really fun to hunt for, but I have a USB keyboard, so I just held F1 and was able to see everything. But shh, don't tell anybody about that. Arcus, if you didn't want me to tell people about that, I'm so sorry. <laughs> if you're actually watching this video. Um, yeah, but it's a really fun game, uh, I... I think you guys should pick it up. And it's really cheap, too. Let's say if you buy, like, a $20 Microsoft Points card and you buy your DLC, you're still going to have money left over. You're still going to have Microsoft Points left over. So you can still buy, you know, Fortress Craft. Um, it's cheap, and it's really fun. I would really recommend it. I haven't been able to play his latest patch yet because my Xbox Red Ring, but I do know that... From what I've played so far, the game is fun. And I think that he have added conveyor belt um, support, which is pretty much like, um, you know, moving objects. As in, like, you know, you can put cars on a road. I'm actually going to put a trolley in my world so that you can just jump on the trolley and the trolley will take you around. So I'm looking forward to that as soon as I fix my red ringed Xbox. Yeah. Um. So yeah, Fortress Craft, check it out on Xbox Live Indie Games. Um, it's really worth it. What is it, like 120 Microsoft points? It's really cheap. It's, it's a fun game, too. Let's see what else can we talk about. Mortal Kombat movie! Yes! Yes! Hold on, I'll be right back. 
I will be right back. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Hold on. Hold on. Mortal fucking combat, son. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. Uh. Slam Dizunk. Yeah. Uh. Fashizi. Uh. My kneesy. Word, word. No. But yeah. New Line, New Line Cinemas, which is a part of Warner Brothers, um, they actually worked on the earlier Mortal Kombat, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they picked up Mortal Kombat movie again. Uh, I didn't really research it enough to know if it's going to be like Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, or if it's going to be along the lines of um, how Mortal Kombat Legacy, Mortal Kombat Rebirth was. But I'm really looking forward to it, and I really hope that it's not going to be a disappointment. Um, because I've been waiting for this movie for years. They first announced that they were going to do another Mortal Kombat movie in, like, what, 2000, 2002, somewhere around there? And, dude, I'm only 17, but I'm one of the biggest Mortal Kombat fans you will ever meet in your life, I swear to God. And I'm just really looking forward to this movie. I am I don't watch movies, but I'm going to be in that theater first day when that movie comes out. I don't know when it's coming out. I don't know if they've announced it yet. Like I said, I haven't really done much, um, much, um, research, but if you just... Look it up. New Line Cinemas picked it up. I can't wait. I can't wait. As for Mortal Kombat, the game Mortal Kombat 9, flawless victory, noob. I'm sorry, that's his name on t Twitter, so I keep calling. Flawless victory, Ed Boon. You were trying to capture the essence of classic Mortal Kombat, and I personally think you did a great job at it. A great job. Um, the DLC characters that came out, Freddy fucking Krueger is in Mortal Kombat. That's fucking mind, blow mind blowing. The only. Eh, little problem I have with Mortal Kombat is one PS3 exclusive character. I have an Xbox 360. Now, I play Kratos. Kratos is really fun. I just don't... I've never been a fan of exclusive characters, especially when one console gets an exclusive character and the other console doesn't. Ed Boon, don't do that again, please. I mean, you know, just don't do that again. At least put Kratos on one. Ryu Hayabusa would be a great fucking fit in Mortal Kombat. I don't know why you didn't do that. I think it's because he wouldn't even really be that much of a, as a, you know, because Kratos is only on PS3 and Ryu Hayabusa is on PS3 and Xbox because Ninja Gaiden Sigma, Ninja, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but yeah, I just don't like the exclusives like that. Two, what I don't, dude, everyone dies. Except for Sonya and Johnny Cage. Ironic, right? <laughs> Maybe there might be some more, but... Dude, everyone dies. And then Shinnok comes out of nowhere with Quan Chi, and he's like, The world will be ours. <laughs> Who the fuck is gonna fight him? Everyone's dead. So if you actually plan on continuing this what-if storyline, how, um, you know, because Mortal Kombat 9, for those of you who haven't played it, actually takes place... It takes place during Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3, but storyline-wise, it's after Armageddon, because Raiden's getting the crap beat out of him by Shao Kahn, and then next thing you know it, you know, Raiden's like, I have to tell my former self this, but I, uh, if you actually plan on making the next Mortal Kombat continuing after this what-if storyline, then you're going to be hitting some pretty intense roadblocks because everyone died in the storyline, which is canon. Apparently, the game is can if the game is actually canon and you're going to make a sequel, everyone dies. So what the hell is going to happen? Unless you continue it off of someone's ending, like how they did in Armageddon. And if you think about it, Raiden did actually stop Armageddon, but he did it by getting everyone killed. Armageddon can't be three, four people, people. I'm sorry. Well... Plus all the characters that will come along in Deadly Alliance, etc., etc. Um, like seven people? That wouldn't be that much of an intense Armageddon. I don't know, Mortal Kombat characters are pretty strong. You know something I want to see? Mortal Kombat! Y you know... I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Mortal Kombat vs. Street Fighter. Make it happen. And you want to know how you can make it happen? Oh my god, Capcom doesn't want... Mortal Kombat characters doing fatalities on them. Dude, hey, you guys have such... What is it called? Setsui no Hado? Some shit like that? The, 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 the... Which... It's not the Raging Demon. That's... Whatever it's called. Um... 
But the other one, since whatever, it's that it, it's like a dark negative chi pretty much that takes over the character's body. It's it's a, Akuma. Akuma mastered the arts of it. Other people, other fighters are afraid of it, etc. Like don't do it. Akuma mastered it. He that, and that's how he became so powerful, right? The scar on Saget's chest that came from Ryu getting the murderous intent is actually what it's called in English. I forgot the Japanese translation for it. Got the murderous intent. Fucking did like this beastie ass Shoryuken and cut Saget. Saget's like, Ugh, it's how your chest pain. And Ryu's like, yeah, fuck you, bitch. But then he like snaps back to reality. It's that simple. Like how DC Universe, they have heroic brutalities and fatalities. Normal Mortal Kombat characters do fatalities. Street Fighter characters do the murderous intent finishers. Simple. It's that simple. That way they'd be like, oh, if you think about it, Akuma would be a great fit in Mortal Kombat. He destroyed a fucking island with his bare hand. Just by punching the ground, the entire island just went peek. And like the end of Street Fighter 3, if you guys didn't play it, Street Fighter Alpha 3, I think it is. Um, yeah. Uh, he kills people. If you guys have ever seen, I mean, if you guys have ever played Super Street Fighter 4 as Oni, um, which is, or, uh, or, or Orochi, whatever it is, which is, which is Orochi Akuma, Evil Akuma, whatever, um, it doesn't even say KO. It just it, the game ends because he kills you, and he shows him holding your head like only kick you kill, only one more kill, because he kills you. You're dead. D U D dead. It's <laughs> that's from Repos. If you guys have never seen it, not Repos, the one with the the musical where you shoot things up your nose and they steal the essence of your life or whatever the fuck it they do. But yeah. I think that should be made. Um, the Wii, I, and I like the Wii U. This is the next generation console. I don't care what any of you guys have to say, because you guys probably haven't even researched it as it is. Wii U is gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun console. I want to develop for it. Um, make games for it. PlayStation Vita, which is Sony's new handheld. It's capable of running PS3 graphics. Pretty good. Um, I'm going to get that this year. I'm going to buy it from Japan. It's fucking awesome. Okay, I'm done. Um, Comment, subscribe, like, etc., etc. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, bitches! I'm just kidding. Hasta la Windows Vista. Bye bye. Have fun. See you later. You take some fuck, then some shit, then some fuck, then some shit. You got a fuck shit stack, a fuck shit stack. Take some fuck, then some shit, then some fuck, then some shit. You got a fuck shit stack, a fuck shit stack. Take some fuck, then some shit, then some fuck, then some shit. You got a fuck shit stack, a fuck shit stack. Take some fuck, then some shit, then some fuck, then some shit. You got a fuck shit stack, a fuck shit stack. It's a stack of fuck shit on top of itself, nigga.